So I have a very serious question that I need an answer for. At what price point is a stamped steel pocket clip not acceptable? How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And let me know, I'm genuinely curious, what is too expensive to have a stamped steel pocket clip on your pocket knife? At what point is it no longer acceptable? And while you're down there, if you could show the like button some love, let YouTube know that you like this content. Today we're talking about this guy. This is the Concept Knives Redis. And it came into my possession from the Apex Pass Round Group. First and foremost, shout out to Concept Knives for making it possible. Shout out to the Apex Pass Round Group for making it possible. I appreciate all of the above. Now, you might notice that this knife looks a little bit weird. Or does it look cool? I haven't decided. Let's talk about it. All right, shout out to the Apex Pass Round Group and Concept Knives once again for making this review possible. Uh, guys, this is not a knife that I get to keep. This is a loner, uh, but that's okay because it gives me the opportunity to check out a knife that I was actually interested in, and now I get to do so and share my thoughts with you. So, uh, this is in fact a knife by Concept, a K A N S E P T. I think I spelled that correctly. Uh, and it's called the Redis. Now the Redis is coming through colorfully, but they do have other color options. I think you can get a raw option if you don't like the blue. It might not be everybody's style. Uh, let's talk about this for a second. This one is coming in with S35VN on the blade as well as titanium handle scales. Now they do make a much cheaper version of this uh, that does not have titanium handle scales. I believe that one goes for the, like the $100 price point or like the $90 price point. This one is 180 bucks and I'll make sure to link it down below in case you're interested in picking one up. Uh, you'll notice right off the gates, this is a really weird looking blade shape. Remember all those videos where myself and other reviewers said, you know, I wish they had just, you know, like put a hump in there with the deployment hole. Well, you know what? This is concept saying, this is what that looks like. You did this, this is what that looks like. But you could tell that they really just wanted to do it with a thumb stud, so you get both. Now, the question is, is which is better on this one, the thumb stud or the deployment hole? And I gotta say, honestly, the thumb stud is a better way to deploy this. That deployment hole is tiny. Uh, yes, it works. Yes, you can get your fingernail in there. Um, you know what, the action is running on bearings, so that's nice and smooth as well. It is not a single-sided captive pivot. That's okay. It's not what I prefer to see, but you know, it's fine. It is in fact a frame lock. And if we look up here, we'll see that we're at about a 30% lockup, which is good. Uh, as far as that is concerned, there is no lock rock. There is no wiggle whatsoever. That lockup is nice and solid. The milling on the handle scales is nice for some added grip, but it's not necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing. Personally, I would have preferred maybe a diamond texture or a frag pattern. That's just me. These little slots don't do it for me, but they do work well. Uh, the backspacer is a nice touch. As always, I wish that it was longer. I know that's what she said. Uh, in the inside of the handle scales, it is actually nicely milled out. Uh, so it's not a super heavy knife, okay? It, but don't take my word for it. Let's ask Jenny Craig, also known as the scale of truth. It does not lie. 3.8 ounces. 3.8 ounces. That's not bad at all. Um, as far as the clip is concerned, it is a deep carry style, but because of where it's positioned, it's not actually a deep carry clip. Uh, I don't really care if my knives are super deep carry or not. You know, that's not necessarily a whole lot hanging out there. But I did think that was kind of a funny design thing that here we go with the deep carry style clip, but it's not actually deep carry. Gotcha. 
<laughs> Let's do a quick comparison up against a knife that everybody knows and loves, the Paramilitary 2. Now, if we line these up, you'll notice that it's actually a little bit shorter than the Paramilitary 2. Carry profile is going to be uh, a bit slimmer. It doesn't have this you know, huge hump right here. And of course, that wave on this does not make that any different. Uh, what about thickness? Thickness is going to be almost pretty much the same, honestly pretty much the same so you know not a huge thick boy it's it's actually going to be very comfortable in the pocket now there is one thing that i have to talk about that is it bothers me about this knife okay like and believe it or not i actually do like this knife uh, i was impressed with it and then i found out something and it has to do with this clip because on first glance you might be like okay anodized clip it's probably titanium right wrong here is the magnetic end cap on my olight baton pro max great flashlight by the way and that clip is a stamped steel clip what a shame what a shame like that that's just unfortunate okay and it's unfortunate because at 180 bucks, Concept has come out with knives with titanium clips. And it's not even so much that this is a stamped clip. Believe it or not, I am A-OK -okay with this being a stamped clip, but it should be titanium. At this price point, we deserve titanium. I don't want my pocket clip rusting. Now, it's not all bad because it's steel. I mean, there has good enough flex for it to fit in and out of the pocket without issue. The second issue that I have though is that those screws are dome screws. They should be flat screws, not dome screws. Now, does it really affect how easily this goes in and out of the pocket? No, but that's because it's just my gene material. For someone that might have a thicker pant material, that could potentially cause a snag, and there's no reason for those to not be flat. It's no extra money to give us flat screws. Just give us flat screws all the way around. Problem solved, end of story, flat screws, come on. We have the technology, we can build it better. And I'm gonna stand by that, like we can build it better. Uh, now, at the end of the day, I'm actually very impressed with the design language on this knife because you do get a compound grind. You get a very slight hollow here and then a flat grind at the tip. It's almost like a tanto, but not really. I mean, I mean it, technically it is two separate edges, but it's, it's it's the very slightest of changes. And I don't even necessarily think that they, that they changed the, the, the angle when they switched to that second edge. I can't tell... Uh, this is a loner knife. I'm not going to put a Sharpie on it and test that theory, but uh, it, it seems like a Tanto in name only. Uh, and I'm okay with that. I, I think that this blade shape is rather nifty, rather cool. Um, there is no jimping on the spine here, despite the fact that we have this perfect landing spot for jimping. Like, come on, what were we sacrificing with the design language to put some jimping there? Um, your thumb, or yeah, your thumb, rests there naturally i think it would have been cool had we had jimping start right here from the drop off all the way back and then continue into the handle skills that level of design continuation would not only look cool but it would also be very functional but they didn't do that um, i can forgive this tiny deployment hole uh, but i think that they should have chosen one over the other because the thumb studs do work well and the deployment hole does work but neither of them work as good as they could because for this thumb stud to work better you would have had to have placed it right where that deployment hole is and for that deployment hole to work better you would have had to make it a bit bigger but now it runs into the thumb stud and i think that they just got a little confused and said you know what give the people both but the problem with the jack of all trades is that it's an ace of none and that kind of seems to be what we're running into here so Here's my thoughts. Here is my overall summary. I love the idea. I love the idea of giving us a blade shape that is unique, that you can look at that and say, yes, that is, that is this knife. No one else is going to say that this knife looks like something else. And as you know, that is right in my wheelhouse. The action is good. The lockup is great. The ergos, the ergos feel nice. Could have had some jimping they had an opportunity to make this knife great but instead they settled for good 
And at the $180 price point, Concept is a company that has proven time and time again that they can deliver great value at that price tag with some truly premium knives. If you don't believe me, just check out the Concept Fenrir, one of my favorite knives of 2022, bar none. We need a titanium pocket clip. We need jimping that extends to the handle scales. And we need you to pick. Is it going to be a thumb stud or is it going to be a deployment hole? And then capitalize on that. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, I have no idea about your, why you're still watching, but you know, boohoo, you know what to do. And if you want to see more great content just like this, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you've already done that, ring that notification bell. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.